trams. They're not exactly hard to miss. I mean, based on a quick search, the trams used in South Yorkshire, for example, appear to be the Siemens Duag Super Tram, with each car measuring 34.8 metres long and 2.65 metres high. So you would wonder just how anyone could not see it, especially as it's about as tall as a single decker bus and weighing some 46.5 tonnes. I mean, it might be said that a normal driver not paying that much attention to the road could possibly have an accident with one, but you wouldn't expect, really, for a police driver to do the same. Well, for those of you agreeing that police driver wouldn't be stupid enough to do that, I'm about to burst your bubble. Night before last, on the 29th of January 2023, a marked South Yorkshire police car crashed with one of these hard-to-see vehicles on Moss Way in Waterthorpe, which is said to have closed the road for a considerable amount of time. South Yorkshire Police yesterday issued a statement saying, Sunday, January 29th at 7.04pm, officers attended a collision on Moss Way in Sheffield involving a marked police car and a super tram. The police, caught, the police car was driving on blue lights when the collision occurred. No one was injured during the incident. A spokesperson for Super Tram said, We can confirm that there was an incident last night in which a police car was in collision with one of our trams. There were no reported injuries. Safety is our number one priority and we are helping inquiries to establish the circumstances involved. Now this isn't the first time that a South Yorkshire police vehicle has had a little bump with one of these hard to spot red and blue trams. In April 2022, a police van on its way to an emergency left multiple people with injuries after it smashed into a tram at the junction of Middlewood Road and Leppings Lane in Sheffield. Now you would think that being aware of your surroundings and changing road conditions would be paramount when heading to an emergency on blues and twos as an emergency response driver, but apparently not. It's said that fortunately no one was injured in the crash, but of course lack of attention from a police driver could and has led to far worse outcomes. Now, I know what you're waiting for. You want to see what the state of the police car was that hit the tram on Sunday night. Here it is.